this doesn't look like a professional video with uh, the lot the right light with um, good lighting with good color grading right well uh, in a few minutes we're gonna make this video look very good if you find this video helpful make sure you subscribe and like this video so let me show you what you have to do and uh, now the next step what i would do to improve this video to enhance the quality of this video is first select the video and then i'm gonna go to audio and i'm gonna play this video right well uh in a few minutes as you can hear the audio is not that good so we can click on enhance audio okay it's gonna take a couple of seconds here for this process to complete we can make this video look very good if you find this so i'm gonna wait for this to complete but already the quality of this video is really good enough it's fine but it can improve if you record it your audio on your uh, on your phone on an audio device that sounds bad or doesn't sound that good well uh, in a few minutes we're gonna make now this sounds video kind of robotic very for me. if you find this video helpful make sure you subscribe and like this video so let me show you what you have to do if you have background noise you can remove from here now you can also go to adjustments here and here in adjustments we have curves and we can add a dot here and then a dot here then we can move this left and right depends now on your video if you want to add more to remove some dark lights or to add now you can also go to ai here not here sorry in adjustments here we have We have this settings here and we can increase a little bit of the contrast. And while you're doing this, make sure you enable skin tone protection. So you don't really affect the skin. Then it's gonna look already, it's not gonna look real. Get out the sharpness here, it's up to you, it depends on your video type of uh, colors you have in your video. And uh, now, If you want, you can add some speed. Now, if you want, we can go back to audio and reduce the noise and also voice vocal isolation. If you want, you can keep vocal. This can be great if you have... Um, so you can use this. It's very powerful AI and you can use this for, for separating the vocals, the singing or speaking from the background music or any other, other sounds in video or audio file and this can be helpful for really creating like isolating the vocals and remove the music to create your own um, your own tracks from songs and you can want if you can also isolate vocals from one song and combine them with the instrumental track of another to create some um, interesting remixes all right now perfect now we're gonna go to image enhancement and this is great if you want to enhance the quality of your video. I just need to for the process to complete. And also if it's great if you have noise on your video, maybe it's a recorder on your on your phone that there's a lot of noise. And you can check this button if you want to. I don't have any noise on this video. Now also this one is great to re-light. You can check some of these options here. And I'm going to show you how to work with this because you can get a very nice effect. And here there's something very important. You can go to ambient here and add very nice effects like this one, for instance. But um, for this to not to work for, but to get the best results or not the best results, but if you want, you might not want for, to this light to affect your face. So what you can do to fix this, let me check this and hold option or alt and drag up. This will create a copy. And now let's remove, drag this down. So we don't have audio, we don't need. And we're gonna go to cutout and we're gonna select auto cutout and we sh it should remove this background. I'm gonna wait for this to process. Only should only take you a few seconds. 
and it's done and now we don't have the background and you can add this if you want and then we're gonna click on the first one and here basic and then I'm gonna select re-light and we just need to wait for this process to complete we have two lights here but we can select three We can increase the intensity and the radius, but let's wait for this process to complete first. Okay, and uh, this is the effect. First, uh, first light we have type point. Right, you can move this and we'll change the color. Pretty nice. Also, if the background is too bright, you can go to, you can go back to basic here and you can decrease the temperature and the brightness, of course. Then we're gonna go back to video basic and we just need to do a few settings to change a couple of things here. First, first we have point here and the background, I'm gonna select only the background. I can increase the radius and then intensity. I'm going to go to light 2 and then this is just direction. And uh, the color, well, I'm going to go to with blue. Increase the uh, radius and then intensity. Now for the second one, I'm going to go back here to real light. I'd like to add some facial, uh, facial here. And we have this one here. Now if you want from the cutout, if it doesn't look good, you can remove this. I mean the, the outline. All right, and now I'm gonna go back to basic. And then here in uh, direction, I'm gonna select point. You can also select direction if you want to and then here you can like select blue then increase the intensity and the radius it's like we're trying to match this blue that is like uh, is uh, shading this blue light on this part of the face now what you can do you can also add another light here if you want to brighten this part or this one here it depends where the light is which this video kind of looks, this is the light here, it's from this part, actually this part, sorry. And I'm gonna add another light here and just increase the intensity a little bit. Now if you want to blur, you can select the background and go to, here we have effects, and then here we can write blur. Then we have some blur, we can drag this, so we blur the background, but... Uh, of course, that's a little bit too much. Right, so... We can... Uh, there's other blurs here as well. There's this one, and you can decrease the... The percentage, just a little bit, I wouldn't want that much. Actually, I would like to add the blur to this face as well. Think it's too sharp, which I I've added that sharpness myself, which I can remove if I want. Okay, now it looks much better. Now you can go to export, export 4K. 60 FPS, highest speed rate, and this video is already 169. What? Okay, yeah, sometimes it's showing this. Now it's also 26, 23 seconds, but but still, <laughs> that's something.
So yeah, that's that is a difference. So I'm gonna grab the first one again. So from this to this, I think there's a huge difference. Now, as I said, you can also don't add to this. You, can, you don't have to separate if you don't work with, you don't want to add a blur to your background. You don't have to separate your your yourself from the background. It still looks good. I think it looks more natural this way. You still have the light. You can still add the light here, of course. So we can still go back here and uh, and add, increase the intensity. You can, add, you can add another light here and just... Uh, for this one, change to blue and move it really close and change to direction and increase the intensity, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's not bad. It can also maybe decrease from here the intensity. Just, just you just need to. It's like trial and error sometimes because it depends really on the video. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and take care. Subscribe for more tutorials.